We are here to do an exploration of usability testing and a web navigation that we are calling Fedora Friendly. My name is Ashlyn Knox. I am a Fedora Web and Apps uh, develop front end developers, and I'm a software engineer intern at Red Hat, and I'm a web development educator and very passionate about Linux. I've been using Fedora since I think 2014, and I, I just love it. It's the best operating system I've ever used. I'm so happy to be able to start contributing to uh, Fedora more and more every single time I do. And over to you, Don. Yeah, I think that the delay is on your side, but if you'd like to introduce yourself, please. Uh, hi, everybody. I am Don Dinetti, hailing from the Pacific Friday Georgia Calgary. I'm a UX designer and consultant, and I'm also a professional artist as well. And I started this intern. Just, uh, with Ashley a month ago, so I am very new to the Zora family, and uh, thank you for letting us your ear and do what you're doing. All right, Don, you're a little bit choppy. Um, I'm not too sure what's going on with your audio, but yeah, just heads up that that's going on. And um, for anyone else, this is also Bertha down here. This is our budding little mascot. Um, we often we're from Calgary, Alberta, and people often refer to it as Berta, kind of our hick name. So, um, we would like to start this off with a land acknowledgement. Uh, this is a tradition that's really important to us in Canada, uh, in our respect for our First Nations people. Um, and I would like to invite Don to uh, give us this land acknowledgement. Yes. Uh I can say that's nice and slow. Um, so that will help hopefully with the wonky. Um, by acknowledging the land, we formally recognize and respect the unique and enduring relationship between this land and the indigenous peoples of this place. We are presenting here today in an important and sacred place within Treaty 7 and the traditional territories of the Nisitapi from the Blackfoot Confederacy, including Sitsika, Haikani, the Kainai Nations, the Nekoda of the Chiniki, Berta, and West Lee Nations, and the Dene of the Tsitsina Nation, and also its home of the Metis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. Thank you, Ashlyn. Thank you. Uh, Don, would I be able to get you to possibly log out and back in? Your audio is just really, really hard to hear. It's Quite choppy, uh, but I'll, so I'll I'll continue on with our presentation just because we're getting a little short on time. Uh, so, just a little bit of an overview of what this is: we're working on creating a navigation for all of Fedora's websites and apps. This will meant to, is meant to be something that we'll be able to drop in on top of everything that's existing and just bring everything together. Uh, so people can navigate a little bit easier across without having to use bookmarks or memorize links. A big goal of this is to make our ecosystem and our community, which is so rich and vibrant, more accessible to new developers, new contributors, people that are just getting involved, and as well as hopefully to speed up and improve the workflow for those of us that are already contributing and into the community. Uh, so if, as you'd all be familiar, if looking at the different websites, uh, that that we do, we don't have a way to get from say start Fedora to, to um, the well. We got the start Fedora has got the doc pages and things, but like from get Fedora to get to um, Agar or any of the other spots, there's just a lot of uh, limitations. So we're looking at trying to create a flow that will seamlessly bring all these together into one system. Uh, the step, uh, what we've been working on is at quite an early stage, and we're going to talk very briefly about some of the different steps of UX development and the, the process. Uh, but where we're looking for right now is natural flows that people find in the nav that we've set up, uh, things that cause friction, um, things that people like and dislike uh, regarding patterns that we've got. So we have a couple different... We have uh, we have a couple different ideas that we put together to try to uh, set up a standard, and uh, we're curious to see what people think. It's one possible way, and at this stage, uh, 
we have a few other options that we can move into, but yeah, we just needed to get some feedback from the people who are going to be using these websites. Uh, two of the main topics that are things that you're going to see is that the left hand side of the nav is context based. So depending on whether you're in like an additions area, whether you're in community pages, contributor pages, or if you're in support and help and documentation pages, the left hand side adjusts. And then the right hand side has a series of hero navs that allow you to get outside of your base context and move around. So this is this kind of uh, what we're looking for. Um, we're going to do just a very quick intro on UX because we are running short on time. So I think we'll do this next slide, Don, and then we'll, we'll move on into the actual testing session. So user experience design is it's where we aim to understand how users relate to the software that they're using. Uh, the, the goal of UI design and of our development phases is to build the, the systems that people interact with, but UX research is meant to study how people are relating to those things and understand uh, where they're coming from when they're using them. Um, and the, this is a pretty complex and subjective and location-based uh, field to some degrees, and there's some principles, but we try to gather this information and inform the development process to make sure that the front-end interfaces of the fantastic software that uh, our back-end and engineers, our back-end developers and engineers work on, making sure that the people who end up using that software are able to do so easily and comfortably and that it works with their flow. Uh, so just on the right hand side here with these uh, images, you can kind of see some of the steps. This is this first one being the wall behind you at a previous stage when we were mapping out all of Fedora's different websites. So you can see all the cue cards that we have there. Um, and we were just getting ready to put together some categories. Our goal there was to look for natural groupings and whatnot, some of which was already spelled out, but we didn't want to start this with any assumptions. And this moves down into our flow chart here, where you can see a much more structured approach where these color codings are represented the different groupings that we were able to identify. And uh, then down below in this last uh, image, you can see us getting into the work of it. So this is the prototype version of the UI that you will all be testing in a minute or so here. And uh, these routes all just represent with, uh, this is in PenPod, uh, represent how, people are gonna, how you're going to be able to click and move around it, which makes it really nice to be able to test an idea without having to lay down a line of code. Um, really briefly, just to comment on here, we are doing a lo-fi or a low-fidelity uh, user test. So we're barely outside of the flow chart we're and the wireframing stage. And the goal at this stage is to understand patterns and mechanics. We're not too concerned about things like our typography, text sizes, um, the details of how a navigation moves or the uh, drop-down menus move, etc. Just to make sure that the, the constructions that we're using are ones that are going to work for the user base. And each stage of this, so the, the, the end goal we'll go through mid and high fidelity, uh, we'll be able to get different types of feedback from people and our testing process. And um, this we've kind of covered a little bit of this, and yeah, we're going to jump right past here into the test. Um, and really quickly, just a shout out to PenPod. Uh, for, it's, it's pretty fantastic. It's in beta testing right now. Uh, but like I was saying prior to this uh, presentation starting, NPOT is creating the best alternative to Figma that I think is around right now. Uh, that's for that's free and open source. That doesn't have you restricted with the paywall. It allows for people to collaborate all over the world together on designs interactively, and it's it's just really fantastic. Um, but it's also, again, in beta, so there's going to be some limitations and there might be some jankiness that you experience. Part of that is that we are at a lo-fi stage, so it's not fully built out. The other part is that there are still some bugs in the software, so how do you think? Um, okay, cool. How's it going, Don? Sorry, I just wanted to check in with you. I know that I kind of stole a couple of your slides there. 
Um, but I know you're fin- figuring out your, um, your audio. I was just curious, is your audio I, working? I think I'm still in a different time zone. Uh, uh, you're very Gucci to me. I still see the frozen halfway, so not even getting a screen share, so I don't even where you. Oh, okay, cool. I will move ahead then. Um, I think I so. Okay, that's too, that's too bad. Uh, yeah, so much of this was made by Dawn, and I need to give a huge shout-out to her for the work that she did building the interface that you guys are all about to test and the hours that we have spent uh, late at night, early in the morning, hashing out these details and coming up with uh, everything that you're about to see here. Oh, is it small? Okay, sorry. Okay. Um, I only have one monitor today, so it's it's kind of, I'm hopping back in and out. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is a scavenger hunt. Uh, and while I'm walking through this, Dawn, if you'd be able to go and take the shareable prototype link and drop that in the chat and just help everyone get set up, make sure that everyone's able to access the prototype and start experimenting with it. And uh, maybe if you could just give me a audible signal when when that's... That's looking good, just because I can't see anything right now. Uh, so you'll be asked to find a couple of Fedora's web pages using a low fidelity prototype, and then afterwards we're gonna. It'll probably be a fairly short discussion, but we're gonna have a quick discussion uh, to get some feedback from you. I've got a few questions, and uh, if uh, we run out of time, which I'm guessing we will, which is okay. We can definitely follow up uh, afterwards. So Don's sharing with you a pen pot link. Uh, and she's going to share that in the, the hop in chat for the sessions. Uh, this will take you to an interactable prototype of our navigation. And in it, some of the stuff is clickable. Uh, you'll be able to see with the uh, the little finger sw will switch on the ones that you can click. Some of them aren't, uh, aren't hooked up yet. Um, but you'll be given a series of tasks here. We have four for you today where you're going to be going and trying to find particular pages and just seeing if this system that we put together feels comfortable. That's the name of the game today. Uh, Don, how are we looking? You all got the link? Excellent. Okay, let's, let's get cooking with this. I'm super excited. I've been wanting to do a usability test for so long. All right. So your first task, you want to go and... Sorry? Are we good? Okay. All right. You gotta, you're going to go to create a message on a message board. Uh, you're going to be starting from the Get Fedora page, which should be the one that loads up. Uh, so you want to find HyperKitty to go and, uh, yeah, create a message. You're not able to create a message because it's just a static image. But uh, please make a mental note while you're doing this. Any links that you click. You get lost. Um, yeah, we especially want to hear things that are con things that are confusing. Okay, so community followed by discussion boards or discussions instead of I think we have HyperKitty on there, correct? Boom. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Okay, good. Thanks. Uh, are we okay to move on? Ask two. Find some official info on Fedora thirty six, starting from HyperKitty mailing lists. You want to find the uh, F36 doc page. Um, we're going to hop over to the next one here. So for task three, I want you all to go learn about Fedora KDE, starting from the doc page. You should be able to get there from any page, but we're thinking, like, starting from docs, how would it feel to get back to additions? Okay, and are we ready for task four? Yeah, so that's that's intentionally ambiguous. Um, yeah, Fedora news. Whatever you the the end goal actually is the uh, the magazine, but I know there's com blog as well. So wherever you would go to find news for Fedora, gotcha. Yeah, the one click thing in that one spot that that's one of those that would be a drop down. All of the tabs on the left hand side in the long run will be drop downs, but yeah, we didn't get that drop down set up just yet. But okay, so the the Fedora magazine stuff, that's got some confusion here, hey.
and a lot of people more focusing on the com blog. Okay, yeah, that could be. Yeah, the, the tricky thing there is at which point are we at a front page? But let's let's get into that here. So we have a couple debrief questions really quick. I think we'll just do the first one for overall impressions. Uh, but first, I just wanted to thank you all for participating, and I apologize for the bit of a rushed uh, feel for our test here, but I'm really, really appreciating the feedback we're getting. This is really helpful. Okay, I see. that. That's a really good distinction, actually, to make, uh, Kuma, that the magazine end users, com blog community. Thank you, for sure. So, so yeah, is, is there any other uh, ideas, things that, um, is there anything that you didn't like? Or was there, thank you. Um, appreciate that. Okay, so a search function should be right in there. So are you thinking like a search that would look across all of our pages for different pages? Okay. Yeah, we're feeling that. What did you guys think of having a uh, those global those large navs on the right hand side? Oh yeah, so Maria, a part of that is as a pen pot thing. It's its interactions are kind of tricky. Um, they aren't as fully featured yet, so we're working within what we have to work with. But I totally agree with you. Having to click off would be would be a pain. Awesome, thank you. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, we're just at this last minute. Um, yeah, we had we had a couple questions here, but yeah, we're we're right at the end. So our next steps is going to be to revert your review your feedback, yes, and uh, follow up with longer user testing sessions. Uh, so this was just an early initial explorative study. Uh, we're going to review your feedback, and I know that the feedback process wasn't quite as robust as we were planning. Um, please feel free to, to connect with us on Matrix, email. I can drop, uh, Don, would you be able to drop our emails in the chat or mine or yours, either or, um, or both? And um, if you want to email us with any comments on your experiences, maybe just uh, put Fedora friendly in the uh, the title, and we'll know that's that's what you're messaging about. Um, but yeah, we're excited to to work on this further, and our next test is going to be a bit bigger. We're hoping to get uh, around a hundred people for that stage of testing, and it'll be a little more fleshed out at that time. Yeah, the Fedora design uh, chat space is a perfect one to. Drop us some ideas in. Wicked. Well, thank you so much, everybody. And we'll see you all at other parts of the conference. Ciao.